and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making some Halloween vintage decorations and we're going to be using these little cute cupcake muffin papers. I actually got a bunch of them from Amazon, a whole bunch of different ones. I will link these in the description below so you can check them out, but there's a whole bunch of different ones. I'm going to be making three or four different vintage style Halloween decorations right now. Now, I also am going to be using some cutouts that I did on my Cricut. I have a bunch of them here. They're all like vintage cutouts that came from old vintage cards. I scanned a lot of them in. I found some online um, and then I just uploaded them to my Cricut and I did some printouts um, for some different ones here. I will do some of these on my Etsy shop as well. Um, I'm going to do some stickers as well as some die cuts um, like this. These are just cardstock die cuts that can be used for crafting or journals or whatever. I have three or four here picked out that I'm going to use. I'm going to start off with this really cute little ghost one right here. I thought he was super cute. He was on a card and so I scanned that in and um, enlarged it and did some cropping and editing and then just did a die cut for it. So we're going to do this little ghost and then we're also going to use this little paper right here that has some pumpkins and some wheat and it's like on a white background but I thought that was really cute for fall so we're gonna use that almost like little vintage dolls um, but we're gonna make them into ornaments so and then in addition to this we're gonna also use some of the chenille bump pipe cleaners that I got on Amazon I will link those I also have some um, cray paper that came from the Dollar Tree and whenever I'm out thrifting I always search for yarn and different things that I could use in crafting I found this um, nice big fluffy I guess it's a yarn um, but it's nice and fluffy I thought it'd be perfect for um, crafting so I'm going to use some of that in this DIY also I have some Mod Podge some glue I also have some glitter that came from the dollar store and I stock up on these dollar store paints as well so I'll use some of this and then some random other things that I have here in my craft bin so let's get started before we do make sure you hit that subscribe button subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up so let's get going. Now I've seen these little vintage doll style ornaments made a few different ways. I've seen them made completely with pipe cleaners. I've seen them made with clothespins, vintage clothespins. I actually was trying to find some vintage clothespins and I couldn't. So I do have some regular clothespins that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna use these clothespins um, as the main body of this first one. First off, what we're going to do is I'm going to use this as the body and we're going to um, take some of this puffy, thick, fluffy yarn that I have here. And I have my hot glue gun going. So we're just going to make the body of this little vintage doll. I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on my clothespin, trying not to burn myself. Now I'm not going to go all the way to the top because I want something to glue the head onto and then we'll put some glue on the back and we'll finish it off right there and then we'll snip it. There. So there's our little body for our ghost. Again, this just came from Dollar Tree. This is the Dollar Tree Premium Acrylic Paint. It's a really good buy because you get um, six fluid ounces of it. I usually stock up on my primary color paints. Um, paint some shoes. <laughs> So while my little body's feet are drying, I'm going to take these little cupcake papers, and I have a few of them here. I am going to cut out the flat portion or the bottom part of these. Just leaving the little crimped edge. Now I'm also going to take some of my cray paper. Right, so I'm going to glue a little bit of this cray paper right to the bottom side of my cupcake liners. So I'm getting kind of like a little pleat like this, you can see. 
It's a little crepe paper pleat on the back side of that paper. All right, so you don't have to go the whole length of the skirt because we're gonna actually wrap this around a few times. Um, it's gonna be kind of like this. So just enough so that the crepe paper goes around once because her body is kind of tiny. All right, now I'm gonna set that skirt aside just for a minute and we're gonna go back to the body again and we're gonna work on her arms. Now this is where I'm gonna use these Bump Chenille pipe cleaners. These are super soft, love working with these. What we're gonna do is we are going to use probably two. We'll use two of these little bumps. All right, I cut off two of the little bumps and I'm just gonna kind of curl the edges in slightly for some little hands. Also, I don't want them to be poking out because the ends are definitely sharp. And we're gonna take more of our yarn here. We've got more of this fluffy yarn. And what I'm gonna do is these are nice and fluffy already, but I'm gonna fluff them up even more. Put a little bit of hot glue on my pipe cleaner and we'll put this fluffy yarn on there and we're gonna just wrap this around. Another little bit of glue to kind of hold that end down. So now we got one little puffy arm and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so here's my arms for my little ghost. Okay, so I've kind of taken my little arms and wrapped it around the back side of my little ghost body and kind of bent them just to, you know, in a position that I like. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that down. All right, so now we have our skirt and now our little skirt, we're going to wrap around and we'll start it in the back. I'll put a little bit of glue to start it out. Wrap it around and then just tack that one down. So there's our little skirt. Okay, so I have some Mod Podge. I'm just, I poured a little in the cap. I don't need a whole lot. And I have my little head cut out right here. And this little ghost has a little bow tie. So I'm gonna glitter up that bow tie just with some dollar store glitter. And we're just gonna put some glitter right on around the edge of our bow tie. <laughs> go some glitter on her on her head and I think I'm also going to do some glitter on the skirt as well so I really like the glitter so I went around the bottom layer of the crepe paper as well I thought it looked really cute and you could see the layers better so there's my little body I'm gonna take a little bit more of this fluffy yarn glue this down on the back of her head just so the back of her head is kind of fluffy as well there so now the back of her head is um got that same feeling as the rest of her body and we're gonna go ahead and glue this on we're gonna glue it right here to this top part of the clothespin. Use that hot glue. Now I still have this little clothespin back here that you can see. Okay, so I'm gonna use one of these tinsel stems. These are from Dollar Tree. And we're gonna make a little hook or a little hang tag for her. So I'm just gonna make a little loop like this and I'm gonna take the rest of the pipe cleaner and wrap it around the bottom of the hoop to almost make like a little knot. And I'm gonna flatten it out. And we're gonna use that and we're gonna glue that right to this little wooden part of the top of the clothespin. So we'll put a little glue there and just take our loop and see that covers up the little wooden 
tip of the clothespin. All right, we're not quite done with her. We're gonna just embellish her a little bit more. All right, so I have this cute little pumpkin stem. Um, I think I got these either at Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby. They came in a packet of, I think maybe eight little pumpkins. And so I'm gonna just pull the stem out of this one. They're little styrofoam pumpkins painted orange, but super cute. And I think I'm gonna glitter this pumpkin up just a little bit as well. <laughs> And then we're gonna glue this pumpkin in her hands. We're gonna put a little bit of glue on both sides. A bit here, a little bit there. And then we're gonna take this pumpkin and we're gonna pinch it right in between her hands. So she's holding on to that pumpkin. How cute is that? Super cute. She's adorable. All right, so that is the first one. And now we're gonna go work on another one. All right, so for our next ornament, we're gonna be doing another vintage style ornament. And this time we're gonna use this little die cut of this little girl in this cat costume. I thought she was super cute. Again, she was a vintage card that I just blew up and cropped out her head and use my Cricut to cut her out. So we're gonna do her next. And I also have a little black cat that we're gonna accessorize her outfit with. Like we did the other, we're gonna take our clothes pin and we're gonna take two of these black chenille bump pipe cleaners and I'm gonna glue, put a little glue on clothes pin just to get it started. And we're gonna wrap this pipe cleaner around multiple times so this is going to be her body we have another pipe cleaner and for this one I'm going to bend this one in half and we're going to use these two bumps at, um, like line them up together we're going to use these as one arm and so I'm just going to twist like a little hand on one side and then right where it gets thin again I'm gonna do another twist and then when the next bump starts I'm gonna twist it again and then I'll do a final twist with a little hand on the end like that so now we have the two bumps and these are gonna be her arms I'm actually gonna only have her have one arm out because in her picture her other arm has her finger up near her mouth like she's saying shh so I'm gonna wrap um, this arm around her head and so almost like that arm is gonna be up near her mouth put a little glue on that and glue that down so for her skirt, I'm gonna use this cute little black cupcake liner that has some little starbursts and moons on it. And just like I did with the other one, I'm gonna just open it up and cut out the center. Okay, so here's my skirt. And I'm also gonna use some of this decorative mesh that comes from the Dollar Tree. This is the bright green color. They have quite a few different colors at Halloween time. They have this like purple color, they have black, I think they have orange as well, folded in half and then folded in half again. So it's um, about maybe an inch and a half thick. I think I'm gonna twist one end and put some glue. And the hot glue kind of melts it because this is like plastic. All right, now let's take our body and let's glue this fabric mesh. We'll start on the back and then I'm gonna wrap it around that. and then I'm gonna twist it again on the back. So that's kind of what it looks like. Looks like she's got kind of like a little skirt. And this stuff does melt with the glue. And then I'll trim all this excess off. So this is kind of like the little tooling or underlayment of her skirt. And we're gonna do the same thing we did with the other one. We're gonna glue this top layer of the skirt right on top. Again, I'm gonna start on the back so that the seam is on the back. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so I have these little miniature pom-poms and I pulled some of the neon green color out and I'm gonna use them on the front here. I'm just gonna glue a couple of them on, kind of like little buttons right down the front of her dress. Grab my hot glue. Just little teeny tiny dabs of hot glue. You don't need much for these. But isn't that cute? I love the little pop of neon green. So I'll go right down the front here and do either three or four of them. Now let's work on her head because again, it's just on a plain piece of cardstock. There's nothing on the back here. So I am gonna put something on the back. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this miniature black garland. Just some hot glue on the back and then I'll stick that miniature garland into the glue and just kind of outline the back of this head. And you can go ahead after and trim it up a little bit if it's a little too wild for you. And then we're gonna glue her head right on to the front here. Now you can see that she's got her hand kind of up to her mouth with her finger kind of going shh, like quiet. So we're gonna actually take this arm here that she would be doing that with, and we're gonna bring it over and I'm actually gonna glue it right into place so that way it looks like it's her actual arm attached to that hand. Put this little kitty cat, like she's patting this little kitty cat on the bottom. Okay, so we didn't paint on any shoes, but I'm gonna take two more of these little pom-poms and glue them to the front of her feet. So these are like little pom-pom shoes. I thought that would be kind of cute. So there's her little pom-pom shoes. And I feel like doing something to this little kitty cat. Maybe add a little bit of glitter. Not really sure, he's kind of just plain and he's got a plain back. So maybe first of all, we'll take some more of this um, tinsel, this mini tinsel, and we'll glue some of this to his back. We can just kind of trim him up a little bit so he doesn't look like such a crazy cat here. So I have these little miniature clay pumpkins. I think I bought these on Amazon last year. These are super tiny. They're only maybe half inch wide. Super, super tiny. I'm gonna take one of these and we'll glue one of these right to the front down near his feet down here. So a little hot glue there. And we'll stick one of these pumpkins right on the front. That just dresses him up just a little bit. So now we're just gonna go ahead and glue him kind of on her hand. We can take her hand and kind of bend it down and make it flat. Kind of like she's patting the kitty. Put a little glue on her hand. And we'll put that little kitty cat right there. Just like we did with the other, we're gonna do another little hang tag on the back. I have the black pipe cleaners that are from Dollar Tree. We we'll use one of these. Again, just make a little loop, nothing too big. Make a little knot in that loop and then just wrap that pipe cleaner around. So we'll put some more hot glue on here and we'll put her hang tag right there. She is really cute as well. Just bend it around. You can bend the skirt up a little bit, fluff it up however you want. But she came out super cute. So we've got two little figures here and I think I'm gonna do one more. I was gonna do four, but I think I'm only gonna have time for three today. Okay, we are working on our third and final little vintage ornament and we're gonna do this cute little black cat with the orange witch hat. And we're gonna actually work on this one first because I'm gonna Mod Podge it and let that um, glitter dry on her. So again, I'm gonna just take the top of my Mod Podge. What I like to do is I like to just tip my Mod Podge upside down in the cap and then just use what was in the, the lid. Mod Podge 
some of the glitter on this hat and I'm gonna go just around the, the edge. There we go, just a little bit of glitter. And now we'll let her dry, we'll set her aside and we'll start working on her body. Okay, so for her body, just like the other two that we previously did, we're gonna use a clothespin. And I'm going to do um, a little bit of black and a little bit of orange because she's got a lot of orange on, so I'm gonna keep her arms orange but her body black. And we'll start on one side of the clothespin and wrap it around. To finish it off. Okay, so here is my skirt right here, and we're gonna go ahead and start to attach this to the body. I liked the glitter, so I'm going to add some glitter to this one as well. So I'm working on the back of her head right now, and just like I did with one of the other ones, I glued a little bit of that mini tinsel to the back of her head, but then her hat is a different color, so I'm going to use some of the orange pipe cleaner um, to just glue on the back of the hat. And there we have the front with her face and a little bit of that fuzzy chenille sticking out in the background. And now we're gonna go ahead and glue her head right to the front. She is going to be holding on to this cute little glass potion bottle. Now, I bought these off of Amazon. I think it was like a pack of six or eight. If they still have them, I will link them in the description below. I did buy them last year. What I'm going to do is there's nothing in it. So and we're going to take her arms and kind of pull them forward a little bit. And so she's gonna be holding right on to this potion bottle. Now we gotta do something for her feet for shoes. Okay, for her feet, I'm just gonna use a little bit more of this mini garland. So now there's her little sparkly slippers. We're gonna do a hang tag for her. So there she is. We did three super cute vintage Halloween ornaments. Hope you guys enjoyed these DIYs. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and stick around for more videos to come. I'm going to try to do quite a few this year for Halloween, fall, and Christmas time. So, hope you guys have a great day. Take care.